Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Keymetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, we will be exploring the three types of calculations in web reports. If we expand the calculations element, we will see three types of calculations, subtotal, difference and custom. The first up is subtotals. As the name suggests, subtotals will summarise all the elements within a section. This particular report shows the last six months of revenue. By dragging in a subtotal to the end, it will summarise the last six months and provide a total. Next, we move on to the difference calculation, which is used to subtract one element from another. A great example of this is a variance column. If I add in a difference calculation next to actuals and working budget, it's going to calculate the difference between the two. You will notice that by default, the second element will be subtracted from the first element. This can be changed by editing the properties. If we navigate to the difference options, we can change the order in which it calculates. From the subtract version, I'm going to change it to budget. And from the from version, I'm going to change it to actuals. If I go back into the properties, I can create a label. So in this case, I'm going to say variance. I'm then going to say apply. The third custom calculation allows for more flexible calculations to be built using the formula assistant. The following calculation is going to calculate a variance percent column based on our difference calculation that we calculated in a previous step. We can also edit the properties to give the variance column a label and change the format to percent. Now that the reports run, you will see a variance and a variance percent column based off the difference and custom calculations. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.